On Wednesday the 3rd of July, Vodafone officially launched their commercial 5G service in the UK in their reInvent conference at Sky Garden in central London. Now I was actually at that event. It's the first mobile network operator event that I've actually been able to go to. And I just thought I would share some photos and video from it. At the event hall, they had a range of demos of things that Vodafone had been up to, such as AI related things and some small cell demos. Now, Jake and I covered the phone box style small cells in our 2018 end of year Vodafone video. But from this, you can see the remote radio and baseband inside the upper shroud. They also had a manhole cover small cell as well which would be for mounting in like pedestrian footways uh, for example and that also has a Ericsson radio inside it. Time swiftly passed and we were soon making our way to the keynote speakers area where a number of topics and demos occurred such as a haptic feedback demo involving a rugby player being remotely tackled from elsewhere and then feeling it through a bodysuit. However, in many ways, the biggest item for me and for many in the room was the release of new plans to suit 5G and Vodafone strategy going forward. So these new plans are differentiated in terms of speed ceiling rather than a data cap. So all the plans have fully unlimited data, but they have speed limits on the lower tiers. So the lowest tier has a two meg per second speed cap, and that's one up 10 meg. And the 30 pound a month plan is unlimited speed with unlimited data. This makes Vodafone to be currently the second player in the UK market which offers unlimited data alongside three and it's great to have another provider offering unlimited data for those high usage customers especially as Vodafone's of course is unlimited 5G data. Also for £30 a month it is pretty terrific value really especially considering that it will probably be possible to get some discounts added on that at some point in the future, especially if things get quite competitive. But nonetheless, it is really great to see that. In addition, Vodafone is also able to offer 5G roaming as well, thanks to their international networks abroad and their nicely developed roaming platform. So you have the ability to use 5G not just in their UK cities, but also in a number of abroad cities as well. The official 5G switch on came through Lewis Hamilton, the racing car driver, and a big ominous red button. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Vodafone's 5G is currently live in seven cities. So Glasgow, London, Birmingham, Bristol, Cardiff, Liverpool, Manchester. There you will find that Vodafone has gone all out with their 5G deployment, fitting massive MIMO of their respective vendors. So in London, they're using Ericsson's Air 6488 and in the west of the country, so Birmingham, Cardiff, Bristol, Liverpool and so on, they're using Huawei AAU 5613s. For the 4G Anchor and 4G side of the non-standalone service, these sites typically have LTE band 20, 1 and 7 as a kind of minimum, so that's 45 megahertz paired of LTE bandwidth. Some of the top end sites which have 5G fitted also have supplementary downlink as well, adding another 20 megahertz in the 4G department. But whether 21732 can be used as 4CA with 5G alongside is yet to be confirmed. 
Device wise, Vodafone currently offers the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G alongside the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 5G as their 5G launch devices. The screenshots I've been sent of Vodafone's 5G network in use have all come from the S10 5G so far and speeds people have been getting typically between about four to 600 megabits per second in good conditions with Hamza currently leading the way with his uh, over 600 megabits per second in Birmingham. As a fixed connectivity product, Vodafone are also offering a 5G GigaCube, which is a mains powered 5G router for providing home 5G connectivity. This also comes with unlimited plans available as well. As I was heading down from the keynote speaker theatre, I noticed that the temporary site they had at Sky Garden for delivering the 5G to the high up area there was visible. And naturally I made my way to it and got some pictures, including a selfie of it. And here they are. So you can see from the selfie that I'm next to an Air 6488 massive MIMO panel. There is also a little passive panel which has the L18. The L18 anchor is being broadcast through an Ericsson radio system, ERS2217. And baseband wise, this setup is using a pair of Ericsson 6630s. So 16630 for the 5G and 16630 for the 4G anchor and it's back called over fiber, which they delivered to the event. So thanks for Vodafone for inviting me to this 5G launch event, the first that I've ever been to. And um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope to see you on the next one.